okay so very good afternoon to all so as i had told you last time we discussed and completed parkinson's disease today we are going to start a new topic related to pediatrics yes but not part of pedia part of neurology so we are talking about polio yes you might have heard the term you might have seen campaigns of amitabh bachchan yes to eradicate polio and to be frank now polio does not exist at least in india in 2014 it was declared india declared that india is a complete polio free nation no new cases since 2014 have been noted yes previous cases you might have seen but they were diagnosed this was before 2014 no new normal healthy child is suffering from polio myelitis so we are going to see such a disease which now onwards you will not be able to see but the people who have been diagnosed before 2014 they are still living today yes they are among us among the society who are living it and those require medication and physical therapy treatment so for that purpose we are going to read so this is not because care eradicate thay uche have any treatment ni jarur nahi but those people who have born before 2014 those who have been diagnosed emne haji aaj ki tarikh ma pan jarur pade chhe yes So what is polio myelitis it is often called polio or infantile paralysis infantile means newborn yes when a newborn is getting paralyzed because of a viral infection caused by polio virus that is termed as polio myelitis it is an infectious disease caused by a virus infectious that means it can be transmitted from one individual to other like covid Yes, COVID is an airborne infectious disease. The same thing, polio myelitis is also infectious. It can be transmitted from one individual to the other. The virus is a member of enterovirus subgroup of the Picornberidae family. Yes, if you can remember, that is fine. But you need to remember there are three series, uh, serotypes. That is polio virus one, polio virus type two, and polio virus type three. Yes, so there are three sub. classification of polio virus pv1 pv2 and pv3 all the three are capable of producing infection in human beings yes all the three are equally effective in producing infection in human beings the tissue most commonly affected is the spinal cord which leads to the classic manifestation of paralysis now polio it is an infection you can obtain it from outside once it comes from outside through the region of mouth it moves to lymph nodes yes ek var lymph nodes mein settle thai jase tyar thi blood ma pachu lymph nodes mein it will grow after that it comes to blood through the blood it reaches mainly the spinal cord so ki vadare affect kare spinal cord ne and in spinal cord you know peripheral nerves originate peripheral nerves kya thi originate thai ne bar aavti hoy ena ema motor neurons hoy motor neurons means the neurons peripheral nerves part of peripheral nerves that are responsible for controlling the movements yes so that will be paralyzed and because of that the muscles cannot act so that is the main type of physiology that we are going to see so first and important thing it can enter through the mouth and it can reside in the lymph nodes through the lymph nodes it moves to the blood from blood to the spinal cord through the spinal cord it paralyzes or it affects the motor neuron disease causing paralysis of the muscles as a result of massive global vaccination campaign over the last 20 years polio exists only in a few countries in africa and asia in the philippines the last polio case was recorded in 1993 and in 2000 the philippines was certified polio free by the unicef also 2014 india has been declared polio free nation by unicef themselves yes so since 2014 that is since 6 years there has not been a single case of polio virus entitled in india transmission it is spreading from person to person if i have polio virus i can transmit it to someone sitting next to me via the fico oral route through my feces and through the oral route directly yes in the most important route of transmission although oral oral route may account for some cases so directly oral oral route through my saliva through the blood that all ways are possible for the transmission most common be fico oral route risk factors now 
for every disease we are seeing we need to know about the risk factors who are at risk those uh, who have more tendency to gain such a virus compared to others so first and foremost as the name itself suggests infants infantile paralysis yes so infants new mones they are more prone emne sauthi vadhare there are chances that the virus will entangle their body and there are chances the patient will get polio myelitis secondly elderly why because their immune system is compromised overall it is an infection barabar ek infection se ko infection se ma thai sake first ke immunity bahut slow low hoy stress bahut vadhare hoy third important thing is normal sedentary lifestyle na re sorry they have sedentary lifestyle not a normal lifestyle poor hygiene or poor nutrition all these things are risk factors for any infection the same will be applied to polio myelitis infants and elderly living with a infected person say for example an infantile already has and the person is not immune to that then there are chances the person will get infection yes so you can say in hospital there are chances of getting infection more if one patient is having polio the other might get it very frequently because they are residing in an infected region compromised immune system because of any reason if immune system is compromised even in it was observed before 2014 aids yes autoimmune disease that can also lead to more frequent viral infections and a baby born with aids aids is transmitted very easily in newborns if the mother already has it so that was seen that if the person had aids if if a newborn infantile had aids that were chances of 50% more gaining polio virus lack of immunization against polio yes amita bachchan has truly said to both zindagi ki yes why because that immunity is being provided which are the types of vaccine we are going to see so there are inactive vaccines and oral vaccines we are taking two boons in the kit that means it will be oral vaccine that we are gaining yes and the dosage also are appropriately given so if there is no immunization our immunity can develop na kariye when we are infant and when we are small when we are at least 6 months old at that time if we are not immune there are chances we might gain polio virus within us and extreme stress or strenuous activity stress is inversely proportional to immunity whenever you are under stress your immunity or the immune power of the body decreases so for that reason the immunity gets compromised and there are chances the patient will get viral infection travel to an area that has experienced a polio outbreak now today we talked about india that 2014 we declared and unicef agreed that there is no new polio virus so we are polio free country say for example some other country pakistan still has such a outbreak still has the existence of polio virus so you travel to that country there are chances if you are not immune you might catch the virus and you will have polio myelitis coming to pathogenesis yes how it spreads or how it moves in the body so the mouth is the portal of entry to the virus and primary multiplication of the virus occurs at the site of implantation in the pharynx and gastrointestinal tract so starting it comes through the mouth it can settle in the git or in the pharynx the virus is usually present in the throat and stools before the onset of the illness so throat again mouthy entry say so it will be same way to a limit compared to coronavirus as yes, covid 19 it also comes mainly through the nose or mouth and it resides in the pharynx itself that is why swab test is given so that to confirm the presence of the virus one week after the onset there is little virus in the throat but virus continues to be extended in the stools for several weeks so from the throat even if it goes away you can find it in the stools why it is present because it is residing in the gi tract that is why the virus invades local lymphoid tissue enters the blood stream so as we talked about it will reside the lymphoid tissues from the lymph it will move to the blood from blood it may infect the cells of the cns specifically spinal cord yes why spinal cord there is no specific reason the virus seems to like spinal cord that is why it is being transmitted to spinal cord and through spinal cord it will hamper the peripheral nerves motor nerves and that is why that will cause paralysis replication of polio virus in motor neurons of the anterior horn and brain stem cells in cell destruction causes the typical manifestation of polio myelitis as the name suggests polio because of the polio virus myelitis inflammation of the motor nerve that is myelitis yes so the same thing will happen and there will be classical symptoms of paralysis 
again it is an infection because of infection there is response so it will be an acute condition yes polio virus if causing infection polio ki jo infection tha se there are chances it will get reversed our immunity is as such the infantile immunity is as such it might revert back yes chepan symptoms aave che paralysis thai gaya banne lower limb paralysis thai gaya slowly and steadily over 2 to 3 weeks it may revert back but that symptoms probably vaya jase but if that does not go the symptoms remain for prolonged period of time say for example more than one month then those symptoms are permanent those cannot be reverted back no matter what you do yes and always remember whenever you see a patient with lower limb one side or bilaterally affected and you suspect polio myelitis always always tibialis anterior muscle should be paralyzed if tibialis anterior muscle is normal it is not polio myelitis it is one of the diagnostic signs of polio tibialis anterior on the affected side should be paralyzed or must be most affected muscle of the lower limb yes power should be minimum then only you can say the patient is having polio myelitis or polio virus infection clinical feature the indication incubation period for polio myelitis is commonly 6 to 20 days with a range from 3 to 35 days yes so within 6 to 20 days most commonly the symptoms start appearing the response to polio virus infection is highly variable and has been categorized based on the severity of clinical presentation so depending on that there are three mild moderate and severe type of responses or you can say infection of polio virus uh, clinical features specifically flaccid paralysis weakness or paralysis and reduced muscle tone so overall tone of the muscle decreases there will be paralysis that is zero motor control motor control is actively the patient will not be able to contract any muscle and there can even be weakness weakness that is paresis assessment how do you know clinically that if has the polio virus or not so you can remember this table very easy this is in apparent infection so no manifestation no sign and symptoms subjective also no sign and symptoms no problem identified so a person is normal abortive probable that is sore throat that is initial symptoms yes remember it the virus when entering pathogenesis aapne jo virus ji enter thai che to pehla sabse pehla it will remain in the pharynx and the gid so the symptoms will be related to it so this is the first phase sore throat constipation diarrhea nausea decreased appetite all the symptoms of git and sore throat infection or probable infection at the pharynx so respiratory tract infection is there you can see so upper respiratory tract infection might be there and fever because of infection identified problem what will patient complain of pain fluid volume deficit impaired nutrition less than body requirement fatigue and hyperthermia hyperthermia is nothing else but fever non paralytic poliomyelitis second stage stiffness of the neck back and or legs yes spinal cord affect us so the spinal cord is the axial skeleton so near the axial skeleton jpl joints as a shoulder hips neck joints vertebral joints all this will be the first to be affected so there will be pain and hyperthermia last or the most severe paralytic poliomyelitis or paralytic as the name suggests it will cause paralysis severe muscle ache and spasm in the limb or the back yes muscle slowly and steadily they will start becoming paralyzed flaccid paralysis will be there yes loss of tone that is flaccid hypotonia loss of superficial reflexes because there is no tone reflex is nothing but sensory stimuli causing a motor response so motor response mate motor part should be normal muscle should be normal that is not that it is flaccid so there is decrease or less superficial reflexes diminished deep tendon reflexes same thing weakened breathing because it is in respirate it can also cause the uh, impairment in the respiratory muscles so there is weakened breathing flushed or blotchy skin why because there is decrement or you can say the smooth muscles will also be affected peripheral nervous system along with autonomic nervous system originates from the spinal cord yes each and every segment of your body requires autonomic nervous system connections also autonomic nervous system ka kaam so hoy all the vitals say for example maintaining the blood pressure maintaining the overall health of the tissues that is taken in place by the autonomic nervous system that is why the name is autonomic we cannot control it, it is involuntary 
but nose is also controlled through the spinal cord through autonomic nervous system peripheral nerves also are responsible for this when it is not there there are chances tissue oxygenation and blood pressure may not be maintained in the periphery and that is why it will cause flush or blotchy skin problem identified disturbed body image risk for injury self care deficit and impaired breathing pattern all these are the problems that an clinician will identify on the patient so disturbed body image the patient will complain like we have talked about unilateral neglect yes so same thing it will not be unilateral it will be mono uh, unilateral neglect that is neglecting one side is affected or neglecting both lower limbs risk for injury whenever the patient denies such uh, injuries or denies such paralysis there are chances he or she might attempt to walk with a paralyzed limb and there are chances of fall which cause the increased risk of injury self care deficit patient cannot care or does not will to care about the affected side and impaired breathing pattern so breathing may be affected as we discussed uh, mainly because of flaccid paralysis caused of the respiratory muscle may that be even accessory muscles the diagnostic kai rite diagnose kare so first and most important is virus culture then serological test and third is cerebro spinal fluid test why cerebro spinal fluid test because mainly the virus is present in the spinal cord so if spinal cord is affected there will be increased amount of proteins in the csf cerebro spinal fluid virus culture directly extracting the virus from the spinal cord and culturing that is increasing it artificially and checking which virus is there or which classification of the virus are present overall management there is no specific treatment for polio virus otherwise if we had there will not be anyone who will be suffering from polio virus treatment of pain can be given with analgesics analgesic whole group can be used there is no contraindication for using any analgesic mostly used is acetaminophen antibiotics for secondary infection not for polio virus yes because of polio virus because of the immunity being hampered by the virus there are chances pneumonia or other bacterial and other viral infections may happen to that individual bija virus aavi sake yes in na ave any mate antibiotics aapi sakay but there is no cure there is no antibiotic or antiviral drug available against polio fluid therapy yes to maintain the normal hydration bed rest until fever is reduced adequate diet diet plays a very important role minimal exertion and exercise so during the phase when the patient is already under an acute infection at that time no exercise is to be prescribed after that when the patient comes out and there is residual that is after a month symptoms continue as a prolong the life it even at say at that time yes exercise will be needed hot packs or heating pads can be given for muscular pain because muscles tend to get atrophied atrophied means decrease in girth yes decrease in the sarcomeres number of sarcomeres decrease and the size of the sarcomere decrease so at that time this will also cause muscular pain so because to reduce this pain we can provide hot packs remember in all the acute conditions we always give cold therapy that is cryotherapy but when the condition is chronic always prefer hot pack or heating modalities not just for neurological condition this is applicable to all the condition in ortho cardio neuro all the things prolonged rehabilitation may be necessary including braces splint or surgery but that is also the chances are very less because the muscles are paralyzed once muscles are paralyzed the limb is lost yes there is hardly anything we can do for such individuals yes but if it is unilateral you can you have you might have seen such patients with polio or other conditions who can use walkers who can use crutches very efficiently yes and they can work or they can at least have mobility hospitalization may be required for those individuals who develop paralytic poliomyelitis third stage yes not sporadic nahi not paralytic nahi the third stage paralytic poliomyelitis when it is there at that time yes hospitalization is required if the respiration is involved long term ventilation may be necessary because poliomyelitis is a non reversible condition so long term ventilation may be the only choice the patient has to survive physiotherapy is necessary what is the physiotherapy you will be learning in sixth semester place the child on firm mattress with support for feet change position frequently yes why because to prevent additional secondary impairments 
like pressure sores or ducubitus ulcer. Encourage oral intake of food and fluid as much as possible. But if a child is very small, you might even go for gastrointestinal tubing, that is Ryle's tube. Catheterization of distended bladder may be necessary to prevent UTI, urinary tract infections, because already the viral infection is there near the spinal cord. So there are chances because of prolonged catheterization, there might be chances of UTI. So there is distended bladder, which is necessary. The best preventive measure for poliomyelitis is ensuring hygiene and encouraging good sanitation practices. Yes, as we know, it is transmission to fecal oral route. Yes, so if you drink and eat healthy, there are very less chances that you will ever get poliomyelitis. Not in India. We already have eradicated it completely for other countries also. But polio prevention begins with polio vaccination. Now, we do not have any treatment. For polio virus. So the only thing we can do is prevent. The prevention is immunization, that is vaccination. Polio vaccine has been developed against all the three subtypes of polio virus, PV1, PV2, PV3, and is very effective in producing protective antibodies against the polio virus and provides protection from parenting polio. Yes. Two types of vaccine are available. First is one is IPV, that is inactivated polio vaccine. That is polio virus already being killed. That is introduced in the body. So any time after immunity, antibodies are absent. And second, live but weak oral polio vaccine. That is, the virus is live, but it is so small in quantity and it is so small in magnitude that it cannot cause infection. Yes. So say for example, one person has suffered from polio. Yes. So you take virus from him. Uh, sorry, you take antibodies from him. So that is already inactivated polio vaccine. I think. But you take virus that is already active and it is so weak, you introduce into the body directly. Body will introduce for you any sign of upper immunity antibodies. Yes, the same thing attenuated that is weak oral polio vaccine is being given to all the individuals who are newborn. Yes, though boons in the DT is this OPV that is live attenuated oral polio vaccine. So for OPV, what is the route? That is oral. Yes, it is given through the mouth. Sight, directly mouth. Number of doses, three doses are necessary. This is the old regime. According to new regime, even once or twice if we give, there are chances that the patient will never develop polio virus or polio myelitis. Age at the first dose, six weeks after the birth. So that is one and a half months minimum the baby should be. Then it should be administered. Minimum interval between the doses, so one and a half month. After that, every month it can be given for three consecutive doses. Dosage is two drops. Yes, you already know the campaign. And storage temperature for such a vaccine is minus 15 to minus 25 degrees Celsius. Yes, here the virus will be inactive. When it is introduced in the body, it goes to a temperature higher, around 37.5 degrees Celsius. And it remains so. It causes some infection. Some signs can come. Fever might come for one or two hours, and body will start acting, and the immunity will be developed against the virus. Prognosis: the outlook depends on the form of the disease and the body area affected. Most of the time, complete recovery is likely if the spinal cord and brain are not involved. So, as we talked about, if GIT and pharynx, when the virus is in those areas, at that time, each time we do. After body immune system activate thyroid and the virus cannot reach through the blood to the spinal cord or the brain, then there are chances the patient will have no symptom or a normal life afterwards. But if it reaches brain or spinal cord is involved, then it is a medical emergency. The patient might need to be taken to the hospitalization first, and there might be death also because of respiratory problems or complications. Disability is more common than death. Yes, so respiratory involvement is less. But this is irreversible condition. If I tell you, I tell you, inflammation is done, damage is done to motor neurons, cannot be reversed. So there is disability. Disability means permanent loss of a function of a body. Yes. Koi pan. Say for example, because of any injury, your thumb is cut off. Yes. So you will never be able to grasp with such a strength when you. That is a disability. Permanent loss of function of the body part. Infection that is located high in the spinal cord and the brain increases the risk of breathing problem. Yes, no, naturally. Spinal cord ma lower regions ma hase to there will be involvement of few muscles. Jhe mupar tatu jase that is full lower limb involvement and upper limb involvement as well as accessory muscle of respiration involvement tatu jase. Yes, spinal cord each and every level is 
defined predefined so there will be involvement accordingly that is it about polio myelitis or polio virus infection any doubts you have regarding polio virus you are free to ask yes or no in the chat everyone simple thing and you will be learning more about polio virus in sixth semester for physical therapy because initially there is very less what we can do but afterwards in today's world after the patient is 20 25 or even 50 years of age with polio at that time you will have many things that you can modify yes in physiotherapy specifically we have always two approaches one is to reverse what is done and if that is not possible koi pan symptoms hoy ne completely after reverse karvani try kari pani possible nahi so there is second thing that is compensatory response yes so when we are trying to compensate something we try to modify the lifestyle of that individual and when we are modifying the lifestyle his quality of life increases the quality at which his life is going on that improves increases yes so that is a good thing and we should be thankful for our seniors to have researched so much in the field so that today we are providing treatment not just as a practitioner but also as a life changer okay fine no questions okay uh, i have been recording the lectures if you have seen from like 1 to 2 months uh, do you wish to get the links to all the lectures what we have yes done? sir please yes sir okay yes fine. sir please so those are in the drive i will have to change the settings and everything and if possible i'll be uploading them to youtube also so you can freely see yes okay sir uh, have you taken the attendance for yes sir okay fine so we'll keep it